Hello and welcome to eMultiskills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will see how to enable the slow query logging for MySQL Server on Linux. So first of all, let's understand what is slow query logging. So slow query logging is a mechanism which is used to capture the queries which are performing uh, low uh, there may be some reasons uh, one of uh, very basic reason may be like the indexes are missing which needs uh, index for the uh, query uh, for the query to become uh, in terms of good performance or we can define the time when the long query time is exceeding that particular number of seconds then those queries should uh, uh, appear under a file which is called as uh, uh, a, a mechanism which is called as uh, uh, slow query logs so anything which is which is uh, uh, which is executing more than the defined number of time uh, just to showcase how it is work, working let me log in uh, to the mysql server uh, so i'm uh, i have installed mysql on linux environment and uh, i'm just going to log into the console so just to check out the slow query logging, I'll just fire uh, show uh, variables like uh, slow query underscore log. So this will tell you each and everything. So the variable name is slow, slow query log. By default, it is turned off. And slow query log file. This is the default location. Uh, this is the location. So it is. Uh, it was earlier in my uh, default location. I changed the default location to MySQL slash data. So it is along with the data. So this is the location. So if it is uh, turned on, there will be a file created with this name, host uh, host name hyphen slow dot log. So any query which is exceeding above a particular uh, timeline, which we mention as a parameter, which is called as uh, long query time. So if I just execute this show variables like long query time, so you can see the long query time 10.00. That means a query which is exceeding the timelines of 10 seconds will be treated as a slow query. So depending upon your application, your, or the criteria of the application executing these uh, SQL statement, you can change this timing accordingly. So let us uh, try to turn it on. So what we have to do to turn it on is uh, uh, we have to stop the MySQL services and we have to uh, to uh, turn on the parameter in my.conf. So let me uh, shut down the uh, MySQL service, so service MySQL D stop. Then we will add the parameter file, which is uh, uh, etc my.com. So this is a Linux environment. In Linux environment, this is the default location. So I'm going to edit that. And uh, slow query, let me turn it on. And we will say slow query log is equal to one. So slow query log. Let me insert this value. So slow query log is equal to one. And let uh, everything else uh, remain as it is so it is slow query log is equal to one we are trying to turn it on and we have uh, added that parameter let's start uh, the mysql instance once it is started it has started we will verify what is the uh, the uh, the parameter value now and once it is enabled, we will see how it works. So let's say show parameter, uh, show variables like uh, and the percentage slow query log. So you can see that slow query log is turned on. And let me see if this is created or not. So you can see uh, that file is created uh, after we have turned on the parameter and uh, any query which is uh, uh, which is getting fit in this criteria like uh, 
uh, like long query time is uh, more than 10 seconds it will be it will be uh, captured over here so uh, that this is the default value if you wanted to keep the non default value then you can uh, check your application owner and set the time sometimes it is good to troubleshoot when when the query exceeds uh, a given time period and it, it is captured in this file i hope this is going to be helpful and thanks for watching